I have not talked about this yet. So this is courtesy of Alex Bollinger from LGBTQ Nation. Angry mom goes viral after giving an anti-LGBTQ commissioner hell during a public meeting. I've never been sexually assaulted at a drag show, but I have been in church. Twice, she said, adding that the church told me it was my fault. So this is the opposite of what we usually see. We usually see these unhinged parents show up to these board meetings uh, or, you know, city council events, and they will berate city councilors because wokeism in schools, CRT, just bullshit that we've all seen. But we're going to see the opposite happen here, and this is very cathartic. So let's go ahead and watch. This was posted on TikTok. And, and I voted for you, and you are friends with my family. Our town has never seen so much homophobic crap Mm -hmm. as we have since Miller came along. And I'm mm -hmm. sick of it. I'm sick of it. These people have been with us this entire time, and we have never had a problem with it. Mm -hmm. They have never done any of the vile and disgusting things that that man and his weird cronies have leaked out of their mouth. Period. I have, I've never been sexually assaulted at a drag show, but I have been in church. Twice. Period. And I'll tell you what, the men at that church told me it was my fault. This whole scenario should have stopped at the United States of America where we have free speech, but it didn't. We're here. And it's so ironic that he also served in our military that guarantees us these freedoms, and he is here, moved from another place to come here and tell us that a community that we love we are related to, we are friends with, they babysit our kids, we work with them, that they're dangerous. That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. They haven't done anything to anyone. And I'm so sick of listening to this weird, fake, pious crap about Christianity being the reason behind we have to protect the kids. Jesus didn't go anywhere and condemn people. He did not ever walk into any place and spew hatred and lies and completely annihilate a group of human beings who just want to exist. <clears throat> any of my four children that I also grew inside my womb and takes pious pippies here, if any of them are part of this community, they will be lucky because there is not a whole lot of families that would love their child unconditionally and seek out knowledge for them to understand their minds and their bodies and the fact that they want to take that away from children, that is disgusting. That is child abuse. It is child abuse to immediately tell your child that he is wrong for feeling like he doesn't belong. It is conversion therapy, child abuse. All of that is wrong and you don't need a moral compass to recognize that something is wrong when it is when it immediately hurts other people so why are we even here why are we even doing this why does hate even have a platform i'm so sick of these straight white christian males who are already at the top of the food chain acting like somebody is out to get them mm -hmm. they just want to exist aaron Period. Peacefully. Leave them alone. Without your 501c3 getting involved. That gave me chills. That was incredible. If we had parents across the country show up to school board meetings, show up to city council events, and do that, I think that this country would be in a much better place. But oftentimes, people don't want to speak out because they're too afraid. And it's just easier to remain complacent and keep your mouths shut. But when you have somebody brave like this, like this encourages other people to do the same thing. And th what a precious person. Like what a wonderful human being. Um, let me read some of this article so we have a little bit more context here. So a woman came to a board of trustees meeting and trounced conservative Christians after a county's library director was driven from his job for refusing to take down a pride display. I mean, think about how insane these people are that they drove somebody out of their job as library director all because of a pride display. They drove them away for that. 
incredible. Maury County, Tennessee Library Director Zachary Fox resigned last week after getting pressured by a group of residents who said that the LGBTQ-themed books were inappropriate, according to WSMV4. Fox said that his uh, last day working would be tomorrow, October 28th, but that he would stay until a replacement could be found. Coming to this decision has been incredibly difficult, but it is the best interest of my family and my own health and well-being, he wrote. So this is somebody who has been harassed to the point where he has to leave his job. I mean, his livelihood. He's leaving all that behind because the homophobic backlash is just too much. I mean, so that goes to show you these people were vicious. They were vicious. And so what they're trying to do is scare queer people back into the closet. Make it so that way coming out of the closet once again is taboo. But that's not going to happen. People aren't going to go back. People aren't going to accept this. You know, uh, queer people have made a lot of progress. And we're not just going to sit idly by and watch these rights that we fought for, that our, you know, previous generations fought for, be rolled back. And so I love that we have people showing up and just calling out this nonsense. Maury County Commissioner Aaron Miller, who runs the local organization Foundation for Library and Freedom, was at the center of the controversy calling on Fox to resign. The library invested your tax dollars into a book display for LGBT History Month, Miller told the Epoch Times. This was surprising considering that June is already Pride Month, a period of celebration for the LGBT community. Miller said that the materials were child-targeted. As a father, my line in the sand was crossed when the library exhibited a bright, colorful display of no less than 28 books, for this past Pride Month, all of which were written and marketed specifically for minors, especially young children, he told the Daily Herald. As if that's so bad. As if kids are going to become cursed if they learn about the existence of trans people or gay people. Like, these folks are sick. These are the same folks who uh, worry about what their children see, who will read their kids the Bible, which talks about all kinds of violent shit and rape and terrible things but when it comes to lgbtq books mm, that's where i draw the line it's about bigotry it's not about protecting children it's about bigotry full stop last night the maury county board of trustees held a meeting that got heated and one woman identified as jesse graham is going viral for her righteously angry speech about the people who drove fox from his job so we saw that and um yeah she is an absolute legend so the board approved of Fox's resignation. Earlier this month, a woman who introduced herself as Stephanie went on to uh, went on a diatribe at a meeting discussing LGBTQ books in the library system in Maury County that was caught on video. I will not raise kids in a county that has sexual-oriented books on the counter, she asserted. She told the group they need to understand that God's judgment is for Christians and non-Christians and the fear of the Lord. It's not upon you. Um, if it's not upon you, it will be upon you in hell. Well, I don't believe in hell. So listen... This is a drudged up political issue because ask yourself this question. Back in 2019, how many people were talking about this? It's not like all of a sudden gay people got more gay and trans people got more trans. This all of a sudden is an issue because Republicans have chosen to make this an issue. Politicians and propagandists in tandem work together to raise this issue, elevate the salience of this so that way they can use trans people and gay people as a political punching bag to win elections because they can't talk about the economy. They can't talk about ways that they would improve the lives of working Americans. So what do they do? They try to get you to vote based on hate. And so to see the pushback come this fiercely, it actually does give me a little bit of hope, I've got to say, because to see someone who presumably is not even part of this community, but loves this community, speak up in, in such a justifiably, um, you know, righteous rant. I, I love to see it. So uh, this woman is a queen and we have to protect her at all costs i absolutely love her and she should probably run for congress or run for some elected position in her county because she she hit every every note she said everything that needed to be said and it was just so fantastic do yourself a favor and click the join button on youtube to become a member because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. 
Join today, folks. You won't regret it.